If you watch much Glenn Beck, the Morning Zoo alumni's new shtick becomes pretty obvious. He puts two things on a graph and pretends they are related. In this case, a contemporary Joe Klein and a Walter Lippmann from the Treaty of Versailles. How many lives can the man squeeze into five minutes? Prepare to be amazed. Mm. Joe Klein from Time Magazine. Mm, I love him. He just wants to help us out because we're just too dumb. A posting from Joe Klein in Time caught my eye yesterday. And here's really in a nutshell, again, you're a dumb, dumb, dummy. Now, normally I'd be offended, but he knows. Not only did Joe attend an Ivy League school, the university... Wait a minute, is that right? The University of Pennsylvania? Well, that's not an Ivy League school. That's the trailer trash of Ivy League schools. <laughs> you really think so? I mean, it's like a double wide, you know what I'm saying? But not only did he attend Penn, he's also a member of the CFR. Oh, there goes Glenn again, getting into conspiracies. Nope, no conspiracy here. He's just a member of CFR. That's the Council of Foreign Relations. Let me tell you a little bit about them. This is an institution that originated from a group of academics and professionals who participated in the so-called inquiry in Paris. They sought to offer advice to the progressive Woodrow Wilson. Among its members, Walter Lippmann. I love this man. He studied in journalism schools. He's a hero of journalism. He founded a socialist club in college whose ideas were influ influential in crafting the Treaty of Versailles. And we all know how that ended. Oh, so well. And according to Joseph Goebbels, the people who taught the Nazis, <laughs> yeah, who, by the way, the Nazis grew out of the Treaty of Versailles. That's weird. Anyway, Goebbels says in his diaries, everything they needed to know about propaganda came from the progressives here in the United States. So, Joe Klein, he's hanging out with these progressive people, and he says, you're just stupid. According to Times, Joe Klein, why? Well, for one thing, you don't think the stimulus money was well spent. <laughs> I know, what a moron, right? But Joe corrected your incredible stupidity on the issue, and here's what he said. Absolutely amazing poll results from CNN today, about $787 billion in stimulus. Nearly three out of four Americans think the money was wasted. On second thought, they may be right. It was wasted on them. <laughs> Indeed, the largest single item in the package, $288 billion, is tax relief for 95% of the American public. This money is that magical 60 or $80 per month that you've been finding in your paycheck since last spring. Not life-changing amount, but helpful in paying the bills. Oh, thanks for talking down to us, Joe. Not life-changing? <laughs> no kidding. The only thing is, Joe, not only is it not life-changing, but about 15 million people are going to find out on April 15th that they have to pay some or maybe all of that magic money they got from Obama back to the government. Joe wasn't finished showing how important and smart he is and how silly and stupid us little people are. The next highest amount was $275 billion in grants and loans to the states. This is why your child's teacher wasn't laid off and why the fire station has remained open and goes, woo, woo. And why you're not paying even higher state and local taxes to close the local budget hole. Oh, I guess Joe knows that all of our teachers were about to be laid off. All of them. Maybe all of the nation's school superintendents report directly to Joe Klein at Time Magazine. I don't know how the phones work, because this one never does. Maybe... 
Joe Klein could explain how that magic voice could come out of this end and I can talk into this end. Are there little people that live in this phone? However, he did find out, Joe of course is exactly right, that that's where we'd make our cuts first. Our children's teachers. Because we couldn't care less about our children's education, obviously. That's how we all got so dumb. And then, bam, after that, we dump all the fire department people. Yeah, so our homes could burn down to the ground, and we'd have a little cuff, and we'd stand and go, Ooh, why is our house burning down? Did the sun crash into it? But, Joe, I'd be disappointed. In fact, I am a little disappointed in you that you didn't throw in the fact that every last police officer also would have been fired. As a libertarian, why is Beck supporting the notion of public schools? Shouldn't his heart go all pitter-patter to the days closer than when the ink was still wet on the Constitution, where any free education was likely sponsored by a businessman seeking cheap factory child labor? More to the point, in my locality, schools were facing mass layoffs of public school teachers, which was largely offset by stimulus money. I'm sorry, I've got a drinking problem. Finally, some truth.